Yakshamaj, everybody. It's, I haven't been recording for like two weeks. <coughs> because I've been sick the entire fucking time. And not the usual kind of sick. The I'm actually ill kind of sick. Which is also why we're going to most beautiful country in the world. As you know, Ljubljana looking very like Paris. Green leaves, etc. We are going to go to the Kosovo. Not that I know where that is or that I was there in the 90s. Um, I have to leave. Yugoslavia! We are gonna go for some Western focus. On the one hand, it would be kind of funny to just go through this whole video with an eye patch. On the other hand, it is also annoying. Anyway, we are building civilian factories in Bosnia. Nobody can bomb me this day. This time, today. Mm. Guns! We don't really have steel anyway. Well, let's make the most out of it. And convoys. I will not... I do not plan on building a navy today. I'm not saying I won't build a navy, but I do not plan on building one. I've been burned one too many times. <coughs> <coughs> yep. I'm in prime condition to record content, but I... Mm -hmm. I'm running out of things to edit. And I also just want to, you know, hang out with you guys once again. Ah, oh, fuck, it's bright in here. It might not sound like much, but honestly, having... Just because I'm used to having both eyes, this whole game suddenly feels different. We're gonna go with the friendship treaty with Italy, just because that one is shorter. Acceptance and re requesting to buy license. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy licenses, because I have Milutin Nedic! This guy will give me all the guns that I need. Yeah, we're gonna go with the factor for now. The 10% consumer goods really um, is not that huge of a deal. As well as, I mean, we can get our air XP already going. But it's not that important to me right now. Jovanovic, additional PP gain. And now we shall start shooting our country. Slice it up. Let's also release Banat. I probably should have built differently now that I think about it. That is gonna be fine. Also allows us to get Popovich in power now. Because we no longer have the Macedonian opposition. And then just keep on going for construction bonuses. Just so that our puppets also get all of this stuff. Hey, by the way, only 0% of you are female. Why? I'm not gonna give up land to Hungary and Romania. Instead, I want autonomy for Slavic Transylvania. And we're gonna make sure that everybody has autonomy in Transylvania. Ah! Unused research? No! I guess we're gonna get the... 4403. We actually do have two communist guys. Cool. Tito, very happy. There we go. National referendum. We are now Titoist. They are all non-aligned. That's very good. In that case, let's start working on Bulgaria. Tag on Bulgaria. Wait a day. Justify on Hungary. There we go. It's relatively quick now. We can just auto this. Um, I'm gonna call you in. And now we just walk around the Bulgarians. Hopefully. Puppet Bulgaria. We can get all of their resources. And sadly not their navy. We can probably get Hungary before Germany joins now. Ooh. And I didn't really plan on doing it. <laughs> this was just a trial run. But we're not out of the weeds just yet. Tech. Call. Call. I could just do call all, but it's fine. I'm just gonna call you in separately and then let's just walk in. And now the greatest part about playing budget up Yugoslavia. Get every single unit that you can suck out of your puppets. And I don't care that I'm playing on auto here. That's just Hungary, Romania and Bulgaria. It's costly as always, but army XP I guess? <laughs> no, I'm just too lazy to do this. Especially because look at that, boom. Oof. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. We need to be quick. No! I should have gone for Hungary first. But I mean, look at this. This is super tight. I'm gonna see if we can do it with the autosave. This is extremely tight now. I have to pin everywhere and we have to snipe. Woo! Let's go, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Ah, uh, you just need to play strategically, and we even got Czechoslovakia. A piece of Czechoslovakia, at least. Serbian Hungary was puppeted. Uh, that's bad, because there's a UK guarantee, and that guarantee is not gonna go away. But let's just quickly check something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the Regency retires our current country leader, which doesn't really make sense, 
If you're communist, oh well, but we're still communist. Prince Paul sends his regards. <sighs> Alright then. I guess I'm the communist now. I honestly should have made a few saves here to save scum a bit because I really didn't expect this to work out this well on the first try. Because of this, I had to reload a little bit and then I tried a few different things, a few different strats, even a civil watchy strat, but this one seemed to be the best one. It's just that this time I wasn't that lucky and had to reload a few times just to get to a position where we are right now. I didn't expect the UK to guarantee Hungary. I guess we're gonna have to play around that as well then. No, I don't wanna play around that though. Ugh. Okay, there's no guarantee yet, so let's justify on the Dutch. And would you look at that? The UK and Czechoslovakia is guaranteeing the Netherlands. Ah shucks, I wanted to take the Netherlands, I guess I can't. Democracies will guarantee nations once you're above 25% world tension, but they will prefer democracies over anything else. Horthy is an idiot and he is non-aligned. Ah shit, they have too much PP. Alright then, in that case, let's also justify on Belgium. We don't have the PP for it! Fuck! There's gonna be a... Oh, right. <laughs> I'm so used to my camera being there that I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna try... No. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of auto reloading. We're gonna try it without a civil war now. It might work. Or it might not. Once we have Nedich, I think we can focus on something else. The German mission, discredit government, and I'm gonna bank PP now. National referendum, ban fascism. And we need to start justifying immediately. Oh boy. There we go, we are red now. We start justifying Bulgaria. We could of course immediately justify in Hungary and then cancel the Bulgarian justification so that both of them pop up at the same time. But I'm gonna try it with this strat again. Then fascism and you can go, you can go. That way we stay at around 50%. We declared war on Bulgaria. We justified on Hungary. Then we justified on Romania. I also got the democratic guy and I hope I can flip to democracy relatively soon. Bulgaria approaches the German Reich, but I think you are a little bit too late, Bulgaria. Guarantee on Netherlands is out. We have to pivot to Belgium. Oh, Jesus, the UK is so trigger happy today. Okay, let's just find Denmark then. Hungary to the Axis! Wait, is Czechoslovakia gonna... Ch I had different plans for this game. <laughs> but I kind of have to. I kind of have to take it. The only downside is that I called everybody in. So let's just... There we go. We shall join the common... Ah, oh, fuck, I lost all of my puppets again. My puppet troops. Ah, oh, this bug is... Fuck's sake. Joining factions with puppets is not fun. The only downside is the Soviets are pouring everything they have in here. If Ribbentrop fires, or well, even if it doesn't fire, once Danzig or War fires, um... Well, I guess that's not my problem. No! <laughs> Poland is gonna join us now! <laughs> Poland is gonna join the common tone as well. It's also super bad that we don't have any land ourselves. I can feel the lack of everything that we have. Or rather, don't have. The fuck? They want to take everything from Belgium. But that was a manual justification. What was that? You just stole the land from me. We're gonna pivot again. I really wanted Super Hugo before beating the Axis and the Allies, which wasn't possible because of the guarantees on Romania. So I decided against continuing the strat again. For this timeline, we had to declare war on Hungary and push them quickly enough so that the German AI saw that Hungary is losing a war and they wouldn't invite people anymore. But we were not allowed to cap them since then the Allies would invite Czechoslovakia. I'm not allowed to push anymore, because the AI will just push into Budapest. I can encircle it though. Keep on pinning. There we go. No! We can't do this, but again, we're gonna be at war with Czechoslovakia. <sighs> Come on, Hitler, you're gonna get a free France for free. Yes! And I guess I didn't need to cancel the Romanian justification. I lost my puppets again. Okay, and then let's do the Newcastle thing. This channel is all about historical gameplay. Also kind of good that I got the rowing boat. 
or at least I started working on the rowing boat. Okay, Romania is now ours. The only downside is, you know, depending on how many points Germany gets, they will be able to take Romania. And then I might as well do this, because if somebody puts up a single ship here, we can go. Actually, we still need convoys. Yes, convoys! When are they arriving? 30 days. Okay, we could wait, but I'm just gonna go in. So we do the declared war on Poland. Yeah, Germany, that's not really a blitz what you're doing right now. Oh, fuck, we're going. I'm just gonna get my focuses ready so we can reunite the kingdoms as soon as possible. I'm also gonna use the cheat button. We shouldn't need it. Oh, Poland joins the allies. That is great news. Oh god, the Romanians just split up to Poland, it looks like. Should be able to push with these guys here. It's definitely fewer than I would like to have to invade the UK, but we can't really afford anything because we don't have a country yet. I mean, we have two provinces, but if the UK doesn't feel like defending Scotland, then I guess that's fine. You wanna show with these guys? There we go, because that guy just entered his life away. Just take as much land as you can. How is Poland still alive? That sentence just runs in the family, I guess. Yep, I like the Bulgarian focus tree. It is a great focus tree with no exploits. Oh god, please don't declare one anybody, Bulgaria. You're my puppet. Turkey, I own two provinces. What do you want me to invest? Was never declared one by Germany. Sure. Do I get you as a puppet now? Looks like they didn't have the neutrality anymore. Wow. Then what didn't draw in a faction? Oh, how am I supposed to break through that? Maybe with a sneaky naval invasion. Keep on pinning, this is our only chance, right? I mean, that's not the only chance, but right now that is our prime chance. Ooh, that's a big tank division. Wouldn't really call it a tank division. I don't think we need 13 divisions on that. I guess that's one way to not have 13 divisions on this front line. Well, I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like Germany is holding. I'm not gonna give you Dalmatia. What are you gonna do? Tell Daddy Hitler that I didn't give you Dalmatia, huh? That's what you're gonna do. And I think you also will want to... Okay, second most points. No, 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 no. I didn't call him in. Oh no, my game crashed. No! Oh, you're sick for two weeks and you can't even play with a mouse anymore. I'm gonna play that tutorial one of those days. Just see how good it actually is at teaching you stuff. Right, Transylvania, you are the one who has cores everywhere. Okay, you were in the war. Fuck. Whatever, it's fine. There we go, more points this time. Then let's puppet the rest of Romania. Why does... I'm also gonna take the Dutch East and let's take London and a few provinces here. The Serbian East in... I just threw up in my mouth. J just that name, the Serbian East Indies. Uh, yeah, we do have the Serbian East Indies now. Oh, Serbian Malaya. Does anybody have manpower for me? No? Okay, cool. I'm gonna make my own manpower then. We shall reunite. Let me just quickly save, just in case. Reunite the king. Oh god, that's bright. Has my skin always looked like this? There we go, that's a little bit more natural. Um. We shall reunite the kingdoms, because I've been waiting so long, all of these puppets should have created a bunch of factories, yeah, look at that. We are sitting at 140 factories right now, 50 factories, and all of this is a beautiful core. Of course, except for Macedonia! Anyway, Germany, I think it's time for some revenge after this bullshit with Bulgaria. Wait, that has to be a bug. Let's do the reload walk again. I am so confused. Look at this. Because now we have the cores and our factories are not dropping. I'll take it. Oh, actually, that sucks. We have a big border here. Let's see. Okay, the UK has 23 divisions. It's great. Let's join the Soviets. Ah, fine, keep your units. We're not ready yet for a proper war, but I'm just gonna join. Make this a bit interesting, I guess. I guess we can also be a little bit funky here and retire Tito by ending the Regency. How topical Italy is being defeated in Greece. I also don't really have a defense against naval invasions, so I'm just gonna have to pray that the AI doesn't invade me. Or I create garrison divisions. Uh... I'll just pray. Jesus! I'm so used to my cameras over there. I'm gonna put it back there after this run. <laughs> I guess... I just did it again. I'm not, I'm not doing this on purpose, you know? But yes, I guess we will just have to accept any naval invasion that pops up. Moscow arms this. Oh, Soviets have pushed back a pair. Whoa! The Soviets have pushed back. Can you? No. Can you? No. 
Can you offer me? Yes, garrison support. I just remembered something that I wanted to do. Yeah, release the Dutch East Indies. I mean, the Serbian East Indies. Huh? What kind of plane are you? Because this fighter or this small airframe cannot do any mission. It's not a transport plane. It has zero air attack. It has zero ground attack. It has zero strat bombing. It does have naval attack. I guess Kamikaze is always uh, an option. Wait, the UK got the UK got their puppet divisions back that they had to send to me. Anyway, national referendum. Sweden? Oh, Sweden. The Sweden has guaranteed them. Interesting. Sell and piss off. I built that airport. And then you lot go to truck truck supply. That's yep. That's gonna help. Yeah. Always with no prior warning. Ah. Okay. It's just fucking bugged. All right then. Uh, more cheating. No! It doesn't work. Uh, wait a minute, I can do... Since I can't remove the underage monarch, I can do focus no checks it is. Yeah, there we go. Then let's do the coronation. You know what? Uh, let's just make a push here. There we go, just bomb them out of here. And then we can bomb them out of the Alpine region. Yeah, the cast is super useful. <laughs> Switzerland is. I think that's all I can say to that. Sure, Hitler. I'm definitely gonna accept your plea. Fuck off. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask, but still. I feel like you could have saved yourself the 70 days to ask me for submission. It's not really a Ukraine offensive operation, but I'm still gonna... Come on. I'm still gonna use these guys. Although, actually, let's just use the entire front. Let's just end it. Yay! We have the most points, even. I'm definitely gonna take Albania. Just for the Balkong. I fought for... A free world as much as I could. Uh, apart from Ethiopia. I mean, Ethiopia is pretty bad and... Uh, you have two Soviet Frances. Communist in the North of Ireland. Wow, what a name. What a fantastic name. But I think I'm gonna end it here. The Yugo tree is super fun. If you do this tree, do normal Yugoslavia and then get hungry, join the allies and then just fight off against Germany. Because as I played it right now, that was a bit boring. 